Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 16 for Hotel Management System in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to perform these two things. The first thing is we will show the list of payments, okay, that are made by the admin. And the second thing is we admin can delete the specific payment list or you can say the payment history. Okay, so these two things we are going to perform. So in our previous video, what we have done when you go to the when you go to the staff list and when you click on this black card icon then you can simply add the payment okay so here we have performed this add functionality now we will perform this list functionality i mean show functionality and delete functionality okay so let's do this so the first thing we will open the project so here we have st docs and we have here laravel apps portal manage and we will open simply the staff, staff and we will open the index.blade okay so here we have now so here what we have done in the in the staff payment when we click on this then we are going to the add section okay but we will change this when when you when admin click on this uh, this thing then it will show the list okay so let's show the list so I'll open the route also. So portal manage uh, routes. Here it is web. Okay. So here we have staff payment. Okay. So this is payment ID. This is saved. Now what we will do here, we will just say staff payments. Okay. And here we are passing the ID. Okay. So this will be all payments. Okay, and let's open the relative controller app HTTP controller, and here we have a staff controller, and we will show here. So we are adding here now. Before the adding, we will show here all payments. Okay, and let's say so. This will be all payments function. And in this we are passing the dollar i let's say simply this thing okay and we will create the view for this and pass the data so which data I'll show you so I'll simply say this payment data equal to this staff payment okay and I'll say where and this will be get okay and here we will pass the id so i'll open the database okay so now we will go to the this thing hotel manage and in the payment table we have staff payments and here we have a primary key staff id okay foreign key sorry staff id and this will be here dollar staff id okay and this will be let's say index okay and i'll copy this index page copy this index page create new and paste it in the staff payment so this will be index dot blade dot page okay and uh, we need this what we need to do so here we have a staff here we have a payment payments you simply say you can say payments okay here we need also need this id we need to pass this id okay so what i will do here okay we are already passing this id we just need to pass the data but we are not passing this but we will pass this data here we need this data okay and let's go to the staff payment page and here we need to so what link we have given when we are adding the payment so this link so here payment id and then add so what we what we will do here we will copy this link and paste it here just simply so staff payment id and here it will be staff id i hope you understanding 
if you have any issue then you can add in the comment section staff id add new payment okay and uh, we have uh, here what fields we have in the payment things amount payment date so this will be amount okay and simply say payment date simply payment date okay and uh, we need this action so action is very simple we just need delete so i'll just add simply delete and here we have a data so in the data we have id we have amount we have payment date we don't need this image okay and in the action we just need this delete button so i'll just remove all the things and we need amount payment date so this will be payment date one more thing that i want to do here we will also pass the staff detail okay so what i will do here dollar staff equal to staff okay let's let's verify that we have model name is staff so app models so here we have a staff and we will just simply add find dollar staff id and we can simply this pass okay so here we have let's say dollar is staff okay why we are doing this because i want simply to show the data that uh, here we will show this thing dollar staff and i'll say simply full name okay if you want to show anything else here then you can simply show because you have all the data of this particular staff okay so amount payment and here we are i show you want to delete this data so here we are staff payment and let's say simply payment payment and then we will perform this delete but let's see after that okay after this thing so when we click on this staff so it, it will be redirected on the add page but we will change this so we'll go to the staff index and here we will simply say payments and i will remove other things so i just simply remove this thing okay and let's refresh the page so we have this thing staff payments one so here you can see that amount is 500 and this is th this thing alex and this is showing that let's say why it is showing that updated payments uh staff payments and we are showing let's go to the controller and here we have index staff payment staff id okay actually its name is updated actually staff name is updated so that it is showing this thing let's edit this name here you can see that so that it is making confusion alex you can say simply leave submit this okay and let's go to the view all payments and here you can see that okay so this thing okay so and one thing more if you want to if you want to redirect on the redirect on the all list of the staff and then you can simply click here to view all and you can see the list okay now we will perform this delete action okay we will delete this uh, particular payment okay so what we need to do we just need to pass this data okay what we will do here we will pass this data and redirect on this page so we need two things the first thing is the payment id so that we can delete this data and the second thing is we need also staff id okay because we not we uh, we want to redirect on this uh, list okay so here we have a this uh, d data it means a uh, payment and the another is another is dollar staff id okay and let's create the route this let's create the route for this so I just simply say copy this paste it here and uh, what thing we have created admin staff payment and the two things then delete so admin staff payment okay and then the this id you can say payment id and then we have a uh, staff id and then we have delete so i'll simply say delete 
payment okay so admin staff payment then id then staff id and then delete and we call this delete payment so let's go to the i'll just simply copy this destroy function and paste it here okay and this will be id and then this will be staff id okay and we need to redirect on the staff payments slash dot staff id and this id will be, we will use this id for delete okay so this will be staff payment where id equal to id delete and then we will redirect on the this thing okay so let's click on this and show the functionality it is saying that cannot read really okay i hope you understand what it is saying cannot read really declare because we have read really declare the destroy function so let's refresh this page okay so now when we click on this it will ask and then if we okay then it will redirect on the same thing but now we have deleted the all data okay so when we click on this we will no data and now when we click on this add new payment we can add the data okay so this thing so we have performed this both functionality like i have uh, uh, i have told you that we need to do these two things so we have implemented these two things okay now now the next thing is in this uh, series in this uh, hotel management series then the next thing is we need to create the front end functionality so that customer can book the room and admin can manage all the things okay so it's time to create the front end functionality okay so in the upcoming video we will add this okay so i am very thankful to you that you are watching this series you are watching this video okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you have any query any doubt anything then please add in the comment section and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates and please like this video okay thank you so much